What is up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice and welcome to iOS 7. Um, I'm sure you're going to ask me immediately, do I like it or don't I? Um, actually, yeah, it's growing on me actually pretty quick. Uh, it's very, very, very different than iOS 6. Uh, you really got to sit down with iOS 7 on your device and just use it to get used to it. It's very seamless, it's fluid. Uh, you can tell the attention to detail is, is rather significant with iOS 7. Um, and yeah, it's really growing on me and I do like it. But now in this video, I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of iOS 7. I'm not going to go into depth or uh, cover you know anything in specific really. I just want to give you guys a look and feel of iOS 7. Uh, after this video, I'll start to break it down into different sections and give you kind of a complete tour of iOS 7. So stay tuned in for those videos. But like I said, this is just a quick overview. And the first thing you're going to notice, obviously, it, it looks different in every single way. Everything looks different. There's nothing that looks the same as iOS 6 in my opinion. It's all different. The one thing I do like about iOS 7 is uh, they have kind of a foggy, see-through glass kind of thing going on with the dock, uh, control center, notification center, the folder backgrounds. Uh, they like to keep the wallpaper kind of seamless. They focus in on animations that, you know, draw you to what you're doing and keep you focused on what you're doing. Uh, it, it, the attention to detail in iOS 7, you can really tell it when when you use it. So as you can see, all of the stock app icons are completely different. And yeah, I actually do like them. Um, they look really good in person. I was kind of skeptical seeing them on, you know, the uh, the presentation today. But, you know, seeing it in person is, they look pretty good to me. So we can go ahead and swipe over. Here's just some, you know, normal third-party applications. And uh, we can go ahead and open up a folder. Notice how the folder opened up. It kind of focused in on it. It still keeps the wallpaper there. And then there's that foggy kind of see-through glass going through your wallpaper. And yes, there's two pages to the uh, the uh, folder there. So more to come with this. I'll get more into details in some future videos. But that's the folders. Um, notification center, we can go ahead and swipe down. You have missed, you have all, you have today, uh, which is the date, calendar events, and then calendar events for tomorrow if you have any. Um, so as you can see, this also has that kind of foggy glass see-through. You can still see the app icons through it just a little bit. It's It's a really... Uh, it's a really classy operating system in my opinion. Here's control center. You can see how that looks. I think it looks really good. You got your quick toggles. You got your brightness slider. You got your music controls. You got airdrop. You even have your flashlight button right there, which is going to be hella convenient. Uh, no more tweaks for that. Kind of sucks, but I, I am very excited for a jailbreak for iOS 7. Hopefully that comes out as soon as iOS 7 is officially released because I think uh, jailbreak developers are going to be able to take this to a whole nother level. Um, so let's see, what else could I show you guys? Um, I guess I'll go to the lock screen here now. Now notice how the device locks. It's a little different than before. It actually kind of fades out, and then when I wake it back up, it will fade back in. So notice the fade out. Just a nice subtle difference. It's really nice. Fade in. Also, yeah. iOS 7 comes with animated wallpapers, which is an awesome touch on Apple's part as well. Uh, so here is the lock screen. A lot different. You still have your slide to unlock text, but there's no slider. You actually slide the whole uh, lock screen kind of out of the way. It moves the, the date and the time. Slide to unlock and the camera grabber moves it all out of your way. Of course, you can access Notification Center from uh, the lock screen. Notice the bounce. Nice little touch. Also control center right there. You can either swipe it back down or just touch. You do have your normal camera grabber. And then when you slide to unlock, notice the cool app icon animation that happens. Very cool looking. Uh, so like I said, when you open up apps, it kind of focuses in on what you're doing and it gives it a nice animation. So notice how the app opens. Very nice. So here's settings. Pretty much the kind of same idea, but totally different in every way. And I really like it. It's easy on the eyes. Uh, you have control center, notification center settings. You got do not disturb. If we go into brightness and wallpaper, choose wallpaper. Here you go. Apple wallpapers, you have dynamic and stills. So there's only two animated wallpapers in here so far. So as you can see, there is the animation. Hopefully there's much more to come with this before its final release. Again, this is in just beta. And I think that's about all I'm going to cover within this first kind of 
quick overview to give you guys just a little bit of a feel of what iOS 7 offers. Again, like I said, videos after this, I'll start to break down iOS 7 and show you really what it's all about. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That will help me out tremendously. Also, let me know down in the comment section of what you guys think of it so far. I'm very curious to know. And uh, if you guys want to see more reviews like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.